Hi there, it's Tanya from Tati Treasures. Hello, I hope you are all well. I am fine, thank you. Um, I've just done my first week back at work. Um, it's not been too bad at all, but I've now got a week off um, annual leave, so <laughs> that's why the first week wasn't too bad. So um, I've come back today to do another of the um, wax seals. So we did one before and I'd got the Tree of Life um, stamp. So I've now had this one, which is actually weird, but I thought it looked like valid. Uh, I can't speak. Lavender. Probably trying to talk too fast. Um, <laughs> so we're going to try this one out. So if you remember last time, what I did was get a Sharpie and I marked where, <laughs> where the top of it was. So when I marked it, yeah, that's fine. Um, so it would come out at the top. Now, the way I'm doing them, because I'm doing them on the wax paper, it doesn't actually matter which way round they are because I'm then going to stick them onto my project but I've just done that so when I do do them on projects I know that that way is you know the right way so we've got that new stamp to try out um the last time I did it with the the candle wax ones so melted it on and then stamped which was fine um the only problem with that was the wax had kind of underneath dried so it had gone hard so it was a little harder to get an impression but what i did do to um heat the wax back up was just burn it a little bit with this long um well, people used to use them in, on the gas cookers and stuff for lighting the, you know, before we had ignitions and things, I think. Um, so I use it to light my candles. Um, so I just heated it back up and that was enough to, to make it all wet again. But I thought I would give one of these pots a go. So I got the sticks from Amazon. Um, I've put those on my shop front. And I also got this little set from Amazon. Um, so you get the little burner spoon. And I got two waxed candles in it, which is lovely because they're in little tins. And then you can put the lid on. Um, I think that was all what was in the set. And I'm not obviously going to waste these. I'm going to cut them off and, and melt them. But I'm not going to do that today because I thought I'll get some of the wax pellets and try those out because when I did use those candles my favourite colour was this kind of metallic green so I, I was hunting oof, for that um, colour uh, and I got some off Etsy and they're just the little pebbles so I do think you need three. I'm sure I've read somewhere that you need three for each stamp. So we'll get three ready. I think we'll get the candle lit. Why? Because I'm sure it's going to, I don't know, take some time to heat up or something. So we'll pop those in there. Am I supposed to put it in and then light it? <laughs> I'm putting it in the wrong way. Am I? Oh, you put it over the top. Okay. Right. So, yeah. I haven't used this before, as you can tell. So, we'll set that over there. We'll put a spoon on. Um, so, I've got some wax paper ready. So, they peel off this really nice. Um, I'm just going to fold it a little bit smaller and again what I did last time was um, I drew around this so oh it doesn't matter because I'm just putting them in whatever if you are using the other ones what I did was I drew around um, 
I did it in pencil last time because obviously I don't really want Sharpie all over me thing. Not like it matters really, does it? But, um, and then as I was dripping the wax, I kind of knew that that was how big my circle was. Because I found when I first did it and started pouring the wax on, it was very hard to think how big it was. Uh, so I was doing them really quite small and then quite surprised when I was putting that on and there was nowhere near big enough. So, um, yeah, that, that did help me as a guide, but obviously we're using three dubers. But I suppose it's good for a that's where I'm putting it type thing. So I'm just going to pause just for a little bit until it starts melting but. I should have started melting before I started talking. Obviously, I've run out of things to say now. <laughs> so, I'll be back in a minute. So, they've nearly melted. Um, what I did do last time, um, the ones that either, not broke, but didn't come out very well, I've saved them in this bag. So, now I've got this little spoon. I can obviously break them up and put them in there and, and remelt them. And then we'd got some, you know, where we did them too big. So, yeah, I shall melt all, all those back up and, and reuse them, which is another good thing of having the, the spoon and, and the burner. So I did get this from BB Crafts, um, the same as I got this one. I will put their link in the description as well so i think we've covered where i've got everything from so it's nearly melted such a pretty color it's like a goldy olive color uh, and it's got a real nice glittery look to it so i've obviously not had a go since the last time i I filmed so I'll probably be horrendous again and say so it took me a few last time to get into the into the swing of things so it's Saturday here today um, it's the 5th of December <clears throat> um, so I'm going to spend most of today uh, filming and getting in front again with some videos because I'm only a week in front now um, you'll get the Artemis um, kit all next week. But um, I want to film some of the Edith Alden and the Tim Holtz ones. And then I can see, um, you know, how near that takes us to, to Christmas. So I'm going to get this ready and I'm going to pour it out. should imagine you get a little bit more time um because obviously this is red hot whereas when I was melting it on it was nearly dry before I was pouring it now I'm wondering if I'm right with thinking that I needed three I'm thinking I possibly could have done with four wonder can I move it a little bit could do with something just to to move it a little bit mate it's gonna splodge out isn't it when i put the seal on so i'll start getting another three melted and i would yeah obviously that is enough because it all spurges out we haven't got a spurge here but hopefully that will do um i'll pause again while it melts and I'll leave that on until we come. Okay, that's melted. That time was a lot quicker than, than the first time. Because it's obviously heated up. So that's that one. I I don't know if I would cut some of that off or not. I kind of like that bulbous part at the, at the top. So let's see if I can spread it a little more evenly this time. It's... It's harder than you think. No, it's not. <laughs> Don't be silly, Tanya. <laughs> you just move the spoon round. Yeah, that's better. 
So yeah, you don't need something to, to push it all over. You just need to move your spoon around as you're doing it. Obviously, the first time I just threw it, threw it down. So we'll pop that one on. Yeah, three is plenty. But I do think two wouldn't be be enough. I do wonder about two and a half, you know. And um these are quite expensive. They're not expensive as you know, there was about four pounds. But because you need three of them, um, it does then make it expensive. So, let me let's see if I can cut it in half without it all breaking up and stuff. Oh, I think I'm through. Careful, Tanya. That's it. Okay, so after this one, we'll try two and a half. Um, and like I say, um, cost-wise, it would obviously be a lot better doing two and a half. Because, I mean, if you was only doing a couple, fair, fair enough. But um, obviously, I'll be doing lots. Um, and I may want to sell a few packs of, of them, you know, like pack of six or or something um because <clears throat> you know i think a lot of people if if they only want in one or two they're not going to want to buy the the old um kit because it's not a very expensive kit at all i think this was about 10 pounds and then obviously you're being say for 15 pounds you've got everything but it is a lot of money just for um doing you know a few Obviously, that's come out a lot better because we've got that ridge. But I wouldn't remelt that. It's it's fine um, compared to some of the, you know, the first ones that I did, which was, you know, shocking. So I'm going to put the half in in there. See, look how quick that has melted this time. So... Yeah. Probably we're doing two and a half next time. I'll have to be really careful when I pour it out. So I definitely get where it needs to to be. And apparently if you're changing colours, um all you need to do is like just get a cloth and, and wipe it out while it's wet. Obviously you need to be careful because it's hot. Um and because it is still warm, you obviously take all the the wax residue out so your colours aren't getting mixy but some people like having streaks of you know say if you've just done a silver one um, and then you would possibly get a few streaks of silver running through it and that for some some interest right I'll be back in a in a second so it's nearly melted so anyone who hasn't seen the first video i will put it on the end screen so right at the end of the video you'll get different screens come up um and i will put it in there so you just click it and it takes you straight to it so we're nearly there let's take this one off that's lovely I have a tendency not to get down at the bottom, don't I? It might, I don't know if it's the position I'm in or that might be a little bit better. I'd probably be better doing it here as well. Let's just turn that around. So yeah, that might have a little bit of something to do with that. So I think that's nearly melted. So welcome to any new subscribers, lovely to have you here, um, I've got plenty of videos for you to catch up with, um, I have put everything um, nicely in playlists and that so I, I hope that things are easy for, for you to find. Right, let's try and... Yeah, I would say two and a half is plenty. And it was easy to, to cut up. I was obviously being a little bit more careful because I was on a film. 
I thought it, it, it wouldn't look very good, would it, me? Uh, chopping the end of my finger off on, on camera. <laughs> so I think I've got that a lot better now. It's totally in front of me, whereas before I was a bit off-centre. Off so I've burnt that out now. Um, I'll just get... This is... It's not a dry wipe, but it's it's off, off and off. Yeah, that is still quite hot. But it's not that hot that I can't can't get in and clean it. So oh I wish paintbrushes was as easy as this to to clean. So yeah, that's that's that done. The, the unit's quite hot, so I'm guessing you're best to really just leave it a little bit. And I do love these candles because they've they've got the lid on. So I'll get one of my um, felt tips. If you remember, I'd bought some of the metallic um, pens. Now these are from a local to me shop, um, but they have plenty of metallic pens. Um, online or you know in your craft shops or whatever so that's that one that's a lot better so let me just I'll just pop that on me a uh, coffee mat just to to dry so let's try the the bronze one I think the gold one I probably won't um, won't I can't think of the word show up gosh so that's that one then I will try a silver oh the silver that's nice It does look nice. My daughter's nipping today. My middle daughter, she won't be coming in the house because um, we are still actually isolating from each other, uh, family-wise. Um, her partner's got asthma. So she's dropping our presents off in at the back door. Well, we've got kind of a, a back porch area, so... I've left her presents down there and she's going to drop ours off. All very weird. But it is what it is. The situation's not going to last forever, so... It's a case of just having to, to go without the things that you want to do and all the rest of it. Um, so, yeah, she's going to drop my oldest daughter's presents and and the grandchildren's presents off as well because uh, that's her next stop today so that's that one i think i do like the the silver best i will just try the gold see if <coughs> see if it comes comes out not really, but it might um, it might just have a bit of a, a sheen on it once it's dried. Can't actually tell if it's working, working or not. But yeah, the colour is a very goldy green. Um, but yeah, I really do like it. So that's that. I would like to get a couple more. I'd like like a B one and. A butterfly one I think so that's that um thank you very much for joining me like I say um I'll leave the links for BB craft and anything that I've got on Amazon will be on the Amazon link in the description so I shall speak to you soon bye for now and thanks for joining me bye